Well, we're back. I uh, thought I'd make things a little more interesting. I do have the, uh, the final build of the six-wheel trucks without the uh, side uh, decorative side plate on it. Just the uh, inner piece is wired up uh, to show you how you could put on a different side piece if you wanted. Um, you could do a color, you could do a different style. Uh, I'm going to glue the, the black ones on and, and use that one for what it is. Or maybe I'll do red and red ones on for my car, or my engine. But the other thing I tried to do and I thought I would show you is I have a vintage smoke system on this particular engine. This is um, probably a 283 type engine um, or uh, you know, a more modern <laughs> mid-50s. Hudson or 290 or 312 Pacific, right? Chassis. It has the smoke gear, so I just left the vintage smoke running on it, and it seemed to be working pretty well. Uh, what I've done though is I'm feeding it. Um, I'm, I'm controlling the smoke with my uh, control board, uh, uh, the uh, Puff uh, smoke board, smart smoke board, as it is, and it regulates the temperature so that you don't overheat and waste or whatnot. I've got it on pretty high right now because I know a lot of you guys with the old stuff want to see smoke, so there you go. We're at about 50% running down the trail here. And this unit is just picking up power from the reverse. I mean, the trucks are just bringing power in. They're not really helping anything except for when you go through a switch or something like that, the train won't die. And you always got a full the full amperage available. Is whatever you need, you're, you're getting up to it. The one thing I've changed is uh, the uh, bolt regulator for the smoke system. I was doing an experiment because on this particular model with the vintage smoke, it's less sensitive to the temperature. People want more heat. Also, I don't want to overheat any of the components. So instead of doing a buck boost board, I'm using a buck board only. And I thought the rationale was when you're bucking the uh, vo voltage in a regulated mode, you're simply keeping it from reaching beyond your set point. And this set point here is 9 volts. Um, we don't get 9 volts at low speed, but we get pretty close to it. And it will smoke. As you go faster, it, it'll go up to 9 early, and then it stays there. When you're going 17 volts, you're only getting 9 to the smoke. So you're saving your smoke. You're not overheating it. So it regulates in the, this guy, this guy, both work in tandem. If the smoke starts to get... Uh, cool, like you're losing um, the uh, the heat, and you need you want more smoke. This smoke will then add more energy as it has it available automatically. So <coughs> smoke stays balanced <coughs> at high speed. You don't over smoke, and at low speed, you don't run out of smoke. That's the idea. It works pretty well too. Uh, but in any case, it requires DC voltage to run because it's a PC board. So one thing I have is my uh, uh, power distribution board which is also the volt uh, conditioner that is AC to DC so these are all DC outputs so I tap into this DC output and uh, I'm regulating it even though I'm feeding it transformer power so it could go up to 17 volts it will in the motor and you want that because you're varying the speed but in this case you don't really want to vary you want to vary the voltage but you want it in a controlled way so we minimize it to 9 and that saves energy for the motor as well. So you're seeing a really good dose of smoke here with the um, digital reverse, all-wheel pickup, power distribution module with the rectifiers. We've got um, DC fields on a vintage flyer motor. we got brushes and springs and all that, but we're using uh, a permanent magnet field set for the uh, fields rather than that big mass of steel with wire wrapped around it. It's so amazing. You can replace all that with that little printed piece of plastic with magnets inside it. Um, and then you run your DC controller for that motor, and then you have uh, the power you need to run your smoke. If you run it direct, you want to run AC, I suppose. That's what one fellow suggested. Um, but I like to use the volt regulator to uh, keep the smoke from overheating, even though it's a metal box. There's no sense wasting that smoke at higher speeds, I don't think. And when you do crank it up, you know, you're going to get 
whatever you need in the way of smoke, you, you have it available. And you're getting nine volts, probably getting probably getting almost six, maybe six and a half volts to the heater now. I don't think seven. I use an eight ohm resistor when I rebuild these, so you're you're gonna get uh, gonna get heat at low volt volts. That's the idea. Now we can slow this down. Let's say we're going 30 miles an hour. And the temperature is going to cool down, but it, if it gets too cool, we're going to add heat to it automatically. So the smoke won't just go away. It'll just get lower. No, look, we're getting a little smoke ring here. So if you're puffing around hauling a, uh, hauling a load, you're not going to get the heavy smoke. Okay? Now, and then we can speed it up. And that's pretty nice. I, I just think that works out nice for me anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm showing you this. Um, showing you the trucks work. And they do. I can pick this truck completely off the track. And absolutely nothing happens. I can pick this thing up off the track. Absolutely nothing happens. So both trucks are picking up power equally. And uh, we're also running our smoke in this particular demonstration. I don't know if I'll put it on the rails. I think lunch is ready, and I have a family chore I need to help Margaret with. So I guess I'll get back to um, building trains. It sure is fun to have one with smoke on it, though, isn't it? I mean, the Northern's nice, but it, I didn't put smoke in it. I, it's, I would just put it together to use for testing. I still got to fix these traction tires. He has traction tires. This guy could probably pull quite a bit of train, whether you believe it or not that motor and this controller um, this could be a real good k5 you know oh you know I have a k5 there it is right there I'll bet you that's what I should do build that up that's the the antique Corvette train engine Mon not the more modern one that we have now but it could be that could be its kit that's all it needs uh, it needs no it has chuff that's the chuff no horn oh when I found my horn button box I don't know where I put it. I put it somewhere. But I'm going to try to reverse engineer that thing, see if we can't make one for ourselves. All right, I better go up and help Margaret out before she hurts herself. That's the show for now. Um, not super pleased with the wiring, but I'll get better at it, and I'll, I'll design something that's easier to do, and then we'll, we'll just march. March on. Later.